So the technology that we're developing means that we can take these very, very unwell babies, submerge them in an artificial uterus, connect a breathing device to their umbilical cord, uh, and then grow them in an environment that's obviously not the same as in utero, but much similar, more similar than what it would be otherwise, and hopefully uh, keep, get them to a stage that the lung is more mature, and then we can transition them back into breathing room air. So give them just a little bit more mm. time, get them a bit stronger and more viable, and hopefully change the story of their outcomes as well. It sounds like something you might well, see a Philip K. Dick novel or something. <laughs> um, when you get into that sort of cutting edge science territory, are there other kind of ethical considerations you have to consider here? I mean, how do you test uh, something like this, uh, you know, in the short term? Yeah, so we do, uh, by being blessed by working in Western Australia, we do a lot of work with sheep. Mm. Um, now, sheep, it's not well known, but they're about as good a model system as you can get for dealing uh, right? with humans. Yep. Okay. In fact, most of what we know about fetal physiology, yeah. uh, human development, comes originally from the sheep. Uh, so there are lots of sheep in Western Australia, and we're, we use a few of them. So they're our guinea pigs. Few of them, well, <laughs> if you big, like, big fluffy guinea pigs. Yeah. And it's really about trying to understand what's safe, what's effective, mm. and then how can we advance that being used in the clinical yeah. situation. Amazing.